Getting that goose juice, baby. All right, so good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've posted a video because I have been out of town uh, visiting my wife's family. So, haven't got to make a video rate lately. Real quick, I'm about to fill up on some E. I'm not gonna show you this card, though, because, uh, you know, it's got my personal stuff on. Anyways, I'm gonna fill up on some E85 real quick, and then we're gonna go to a car meet, and then, but it's kinda crappy outside, so. Hopefully there's a bigger show out than normal. And then I got a quick little video on why I chose the WRX over the STI. So if you guys wanna watch that, stay tuned. Oh, okay, it's done already. This is whack. I think I got a bunk handle here. That's not working. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll get to use a different pump. It's working. So excited. I love this stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the show. Let's go. Look at this man's Subaru Ambassador over oh, here. Had like a hundred uh, watts on, yeah. the, on the vape, and then I thought it was gonna make me go faster. And then, and not until the light that you were stopped right here before you made that light. I turn. did see you. Yeah, I, was I like, saw you. Frig! I was like, he's right there. He got close, but yeah. your car is too slow, dude. I know. Too slow. I need to run a 600 shot. That's what I need. Yep, that'll work. Good lord. He loves his haters. <laughs> What the heck is this? That's called the well penis intake. Is it really? Yeah. There's some ones that are in carbon fiber and they look nice. Yo, this thing got a massive turbo. Look at that thing. The intake pipe is like five inches. It's outrageous. We got an SC, what is this, 300, 400? I want to say it's 300. It's a lot like an Evan Shanks build. We did it first, Evan Shanks or this yeah. dude. He's out of blinker fluid. <laughs> oh, she found the car. She found it. She found what she wanted. Is that it? Is that what you want? Is that it? That's the one? Oh, like the hood? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says ejecto see though. All right guys, we're back home now. The meet was kind of an upset. There wasn't too many cars there. I mean, if you saw the weather this morning, it wasn't that great. So we're, we're home. Uh, we, we took a nap because it was so early. I want to talk about why I picked the WRX over the STI. I get asked this question once in a while. I figured I'll finally go over it. WRX and the STI, the engines are completely different. The WRX has an FA20 and the, the STI has an EJ. See, I can't tell you what engine the STI has as like what EJ it is. I've seen there's an EJ20 and EJ25. I think I've seen an EJ24. Honestly, I have no idea. Next up is the brakes. The STI does come with some Brembos. Uh, the Rex obviously just comes with some regular calipers. 
To me, this wasn't a big deal. It's an easy upgrade. You can get relatively cheap online, or you can find an STI that got hit and it's totaled and go pick up theirs for relatively cheap. All right, the next thing is the interior. The STI does have some really nice interior. I do like the seats it comes with. It has the the Alcatara, I think, or suede, I don't, I don't know exactly, uh, red. And then it has the red seat belt. The red seat belts are like the coolest thing ever. Cause you know, not many cars have red seat belts. That did catch my eye. All right, now this next one is probably the biggest thing, the biggest difference. And the only reason I considered an STI, the STI transmission is very good. A lot of WRXs that make big power do a STI transmission swap just because it just it holds so much more power. And plus what's really cool is it has that, I don't even know what it's called, the DV whatever. And you can change how it drives. Very last thing there is, how much it costs to make power. Now on, a, on the FA20, what I have in the WRX, I did my research. A lot of people, you can actually do a few mods as in a full exhaust in E85 and then um, I believe TG Beats was TGV deletes was on that list, and you could have E85 because you know F, F just you get wow. T -t Today, Junior. I've seen a few dyno sheets on Facebook, and a few people have actually hit f or gotten really close to 400 on just a simple E85 full exhaust and an intake, like a, f a few mods, and it just it, it can just make mad power. But then with an STI. If you guys seen the mod list you need, it is just outrageous. It is so much money just to make a little horsepower. Because, I mean, the STI from factory makes 305 to the crank. Yeah. But time you try, time you convert that to the wheels, and then you got to add all that money in mods just to make 100 horsepower. want to brag, but if you guys have seen my previous YouTube videos and the truck I used to have... I did own a 2017 Chevy Colorado ZR2 with a turbo diesel. That's like a $45,000, $46,000 truck. So I know all the STI guys on Facebook, you know, when we put an STI wing on the WRX, STI guys are all like, oh, they can't afford it. They can't afford it. When I when I did all my research on it, to me, it just wasn't worth the eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars difference for an outdated motor. A really good trans, brake calipers, interior, a wing. It wasn't worth all that extra money. An additional four, five, six thousand to dump in mods to make the same power I do now. So I mean, if you add that up, that's like $15,000. I don't know, to me, that, that's why I picked the WRX over STI. I really wish I would've got it on camera. I'll see if I can pull up like a history. Um, I know it's not the, the best and it's kind of hard to see. But just my average for my trip is 26.4 miles a gallon, and I'm expecting 450 miles for this tank. I get on it all the time, and I mean, I make almost 400 horsepower. All right, guys, that's from the end of today's video. I have seen a couple of things on Facebook about that where people compare the WX and STI, and so I just wanted to give my input and why I got the WX over the STI. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye.